Let me quickly talk to you about Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid versus Coolbot versus Ginger versus Hemingway versus Linguix. Obviously, we are talking about grammar checkers. And in today's conversation, I want to do an in-depth comparative analysis of those six grammar checkers to see which one is really good. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to compare and contrast six grammar checkers. Okay, we are speaking about Grammarly, Pro Writing Aid, Coolbot, Ginger, Hemingway, and Linguix. Let me first start with, uh, with Grammarly. So when you think about Grammarly, you are thinking about a powerful grammar checkers that provide tools to help you improve your writing, okay? And the cool thing is that they have a writing assistant that follows you almost everywhere you want to write. So on a, on a phone, on your computer, on your tablets and whatnot. So this proven proof, proofreading tool actually checks your work and suggests corrections for errors. And it does it automatically. So it provides an explanation for those corrections so you can learn from your mistakes. So you have two versions. You have the free version and you have the premium version. So the free version will help you with spelling errors and basic mistakes, grammar mistakes that could be adequate. I mean, this is kind of cool for casual writers. But if you are a serious writer, you want to go for the Grammarly Premium. Okay, so this plan catches advanced grammar and, punc and uh, punctuation mistakes and contextual spelling errors. It provides suggestions for improvement in sentence structure word choice and readability it even allows you to set goals for tone and intent which is an experimental function right now but it can also be useful okay and uh, so here are the pros and cons pros you have an easy to use grammar checker you have unlimited plagiar plagiarism checks and you have the flexibility of multiple format what about the cons the free version has limited features Google, Doc in, Google Docs integration is still in beta, and the Grammarly app can be aggressive in suggesting errors. Okay, In terms of key features, let's talk about the key features. You have the Grammarly keyboard. You have the Grammarly extension or browser add-on. You have the Grammarly, uh, the, the Grammarly uh, punctuation checker. Okay, So those are the, the, the key uh, features you need to think about. And how much does Grammarly cost? As you can see on the screen here, obviously you can try Grammarly for free. Okay, but if you want to have the pre, if you want to upgrade to the premium version, you're gonna to have to pay somewhere from twelve dollars to uh, thirty dollars per month, depending on the plan you're in. So overall, one thing I want to say here is that Grammarly is definitely worth it, and depending on the kind of a sophistication you want in the writing, you want to go for the either for the free version or the premium version. Obviously, if you're a casual writer, you don't need the premium version. Let me talk to you about Ginger. So when you think about Ginger, I want you to think about an online grammar checker that actually corrects all types of uh, gram grammatical mistakes, including punctuation, sentence, sentence uh, structure, and style. It also provides a translation into 40 different languages. For example, you can write in German and then translate it into English, okay? And the free tool is limited to 350 characters, so it's not really worth it at all, okay? However, if you are willing to sign up for the Ginger Grammar Checker, you can get a far more robust Google Chrome extension for free. So this will give you access to the Ginger Writer app where you can copy and paste your text to find any errors, okay? And what we love here is that Ginger has a mobile app, a Ginger keyboard that will allow you to catch spelling mistakes in uh, text, emails, and social media posts. And it works with uh, MS Words, but not Google Docs, okay? So here are the key features. So you are talking about the Chrome extension or the browser extension, okay? You can have the keyboard, you can add a keyboard in Android or Apple. And also, Ginger reveals the character counts, word counts, and the number of sentences in here for your test. So the tool also helps you find and fix synonyms for 
commonly overused words like you know make for for instance it's really important and uh, now like grammarly Dinja Premium offers more context for grammatical mistakes and identifies more u- more issues than the free grammar checker version. So it's all about again the, the level of sophistication you want. So here are the pros and cons. The pros: you have a built-in language tool that provides translation for over 40 languages. The free version includes three writing tools, an editing window with translations, a dictionary, and uh, and a glossary. The premium version includes a personal trainer to improve your English. So this trainer provides personalized practice sessions, sessions based on your own writing, and it's like having a virtual, you know, a virtual writing tutor. What about the drawbacks, the cons? You have multiple steps to work through your text in the Danger Writer app. It provides minimal feedback about errors in the free version, and Danger is not compatible with the Mac OS or Google Docs. In terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen, if you need more than the free version, upgrading to Ginger Premium has three options, but the price actually oscillates from $10 all the way to $89. So you can get a monthly uh, subscription or a yearly one. Let's talk about Hemingway Editor. So when you think about a Mingo editor, I want you to think about a style checker that provides actually feedback to keep your writing easy to read, right? So following the style of a Hemingway, he aims to clear, it aims to have clear, simple sentence structure. So you what you have a sentence structures that are basically the core of what you would think about freelance editing. Okay, and the cool thing here is that it has uh, it also flags the use of pa- the passive voice, excessive adverbs, and complex phrases. So, here are the pros and cons. The pros: the online version is free. If you get distracted while when you write online, a very cheap desktop version is available to help you avoid temptations, and, and actually it notifies you to writing that is either hard to read or understand that you might not catch on your own. Here are the cons. You need to copy and paste your text into the app for it to review your work, and it will not preserve your formatting. And it doesn't provide suggestions on how to edit complex sentences. So think about it. Fixing your text is up to you. And following every suggestion could cause your writing to become too simplistic, really. Okay, so this is something to think about. And the one thing you need to have here is that the online version is free, as I just said. And if you want to work offline, there is a desktop app available for $99.99, okay? And when you think about it, the Hemingway Editor is not really a replacement for grammar check software, but it is, in our view, an excellent comp- an excellent uh, complement to these tools, okay? One thing for sure, the Hemingway Editor app helps you enhance your readability and avoid the stumbling blocks that could cause your readers to bail, okay? It can help actually ensure that your writing gets read. That's what it is. That's the bottom line. It makes it makes sure that your writing is read. Now, in terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen here, it goes from free to $19.99, okay? The bottom line here is that you have to think again, as, as I've said before, it depends on the level of granularity, the level, is, the level of uh, sophistication you want in your writing. So Hemingway has to adapt to that, okay? So Hemingway really is uh, is good for, uh, I would say, the freelance writers. But if you want to actually, if you're an author, if you really need to actually uh, write complex sentences, this is not the right app for you. Not at all. Not at all. And one thing I also need to say is that it's totally up to you. We don't like the fact that you have to constantly format your own writing. This is just a waste of time. But uh, yeah, so it is what it is. I want to review now very quickly Pro Writing Aid. So when you think about this app, what do you think about first? First of all, you need to think about the fact that it is a very robust grammar checker. Okay, it will tell you if you have made a grammatical mistake, punctuation error, spelling error, style gaffe, and provides, in addition to that, in-depth feedback on your writing. It has over 20 different writing reports, which you can click on one at a time. So you don't need to do all of your editing at once, which is really good. If you're trying to save time, you do a little bit now, you do a little bit later on. So this is providing it will actually accommodate that. Okay. For example, you could first fix grammar, spelling and style errors. Then you can select the report to change up to any repeated words or phrases. 
Okay. And next, you could run a report to identify cliches and then follow up with a report on sentence structure issues. So going through these reports will help you improve the quality of your writing skill. Okay. And you can read through their suggestions and implement what works for you. Here are the pros and cons. The pros. The variety of reports provided are excellent for self-editing. You have a lifetime subscription that is offered at a reasonable price. And integration with uh, Scrivener is uh, available. Okay, here are the cons. The free trial is limited to up to 500 words in the online tool. No monthly version is available. You need to commit to one year. Okay, and no, no, no mobile app versions are currently available for either iOS or Android. So here are the key features that you want to pay attention to. So you have the Pro Writing Aid Grammar Checker with, that integrates very well with MS Words, Outlook, Google Docs, Open Office, Final Draft, and even Scrivener. You can download a desktop app, a de desktop app for Mac and uh, Windows, or install a plugin for your browser. And Pro Writing Aid also offers Word and Google Doc plugins. You can use the, br the browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari to check your writing on any website, which is really good, including Medium, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, and Wattpad. Totally good. In terms of pricing, you can see on the screen here how much Pro Writing Aid costs. It's, really, it's totally up to uh, the level of uh, sophistication that you want, okay? And if you want extensive feedback on your writing, Pro Writing Aid in our research, according to our research, is a solid choice. You have the you have the option to view reports one at a time to avoid becoming overwhelmed by the quantity of feedback. So for fiction writers, the unique reports to check your pacing and dialogue could also be very, very valuable. Let me quickly review right now Quillbot. So what we love, the first thing we love here is that Quillbot, you have uh, the free version or the, the paid version. And in our view, this is one of the easiest to use grammar checkers. Okay, this Quillbot actually, Quillbot actually, uh, they introduced themselves as a paraphraser tool. Okay, so it uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to find and fix grammar errors. It, con it co actually contains a powerful create grammar checker. Okay, alongside the other editing tools for academics and and uh, and other authors. And uh, one thing we, we saw is that they are they have a very great uh, they are a great choice for academics okay and because of they have many tools they actually speak to that audience so for example you have the paraphraser so the paraphraser allows you to actually rewrite and enhance any sentence paragraph or article using their state of the, the art AI and they also have a grammar checker. So Grammar Checker also is really good because it allows you to perfect your English by reviewing your writing for grammar, spelling, and punctuation errors. You also have a plagiarism checker. So you are actually uh, ensuring that you have proper authorship and citations. So they will check whether, whether or not any section of your test did not properly attribute authorship to content already published on the web or in books, research papers, academic papers, or news sources. You have a summarizer feature that allows you to summarize any text with a click of a button. Okay, so this is, this feature can condense articles, papers, or documents down to the key points instantly. Instantly. So they have a, their AI powered feature allows. I mean, it uses natural language processing to locate critical information while maintaining the original content. You also have a citation generator. I mean, we we love this citation generator because uh, you are able to cite smarter, faster, and easier. So if you want to use the APA, ver the APA format, the, A the MLA format of the Chicago style, totally fine, not a problem. And so how much does uh, Quillbot cost? You can try Quillbot for free, but it has a strict word limit and they don't, they don't actually grant access to all of the features on the free version. So the premium version costs somewhere around $20 per month and uh, it can go up or down depending on the level of uh, sophistication that you really need. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome 
Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about uh, grammar checkers. We are comparing six today. We are we're comparing Grammarly, Ginger. We are comparing Hemingway Editor, Providing Aid, Quillbot, and Linguist. So far, I have actually compared the five already. So let's go to number six. No, number six, you have a uh, Linguist. So Linguist is a grammar editor. So it is, it is actually an AI-powered grammar checker okay and uh, so they launched about about four or five years uh, four years ago in 2018 and they have uh, several tools that writers may find helpful including a writing coach style guide so if you have a style guide this is really good content templates and shortcuts okay so like most best in class grammar checkers it also includes uh, plugins for chrome safari and microsoft edge and apps for ios android mac and windows and uh, Linguist is mainly comparable to Grammarly Business in that it's aimed at a business audience. So it's relatively accurate. So you have to think about that. So the ideal Linguist user is actually uh, a business uh, a business person. Okay, like I said before, it actually is it, it's really targeting uh, business writers. So if you want to be a better writer within the business context, this is really good. So this, the, the key features in Linguist include a browser extension writing templates, a plagiarism checker, insights in, and uh, analytics, okay? And you are able to, uh, so if you are a freelance writer on a budget, you can love it too. You know, if you're writing for a business audience, this is pretty good. If you're a student, you can also find your luck in it. If you're a website publisher, you can you can actually think about it too. So one thing you need to understand here is that when we talk about what freelance writers on a budget, it's all about making sure that you are basically writing better but you're also saving money in terms of the in terms of the software you use to check your writing this is really important right so you want to work with a, a software tool that does not allow you to break the bank okay so fortunately linguist spots most of your grammar and spelling errors and you won't have to pay more than a few dollars each month it also offers a browser extension which is super useful if you don't feel like copying and pasting articles into into linguist okay and uh, one thing I want to say here, you also have uh, website publishers. So for website publishers, it actually offers a customizable style guide, content templates, and a pager and a plagiarism checker. This is really important. And the, the service is very easy to use. It is accurate, okay? And in terms of pricing, as you can see on the screen, it really depends on what you are trying to do with the, with, with the product. So the pricing is really tiered. And our favorite features about uh, Linguist include a plagiarism plagiarism checker a free google chrome extension okay and this is really important and uh, the rest is okay now let me give you a bonus here we want to actually talk a little bit about google docs or microsoft word okay and i mean the traditional software tool the 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 legacy software tool so both Google Docs and Microsoft Word include built-in grammar checkers. They allow you to fix your basic spelling and grammar errors for free. As you type, a red, a red squiggle under the word alerts you to spelling errors when you make them. A blue squiggle indicates potential grammar errors. Okay, Now, you can right-click for suggested corrections unless you are way off. In any case, you are on your own. right? And you can select the ones you agree with. One thing I want to say here is that Microsoft Word also provides a quick snapshot of your text readability. So let's go a little bit. Uh, let's do a let's see. Uh, let's do a pros and cons when we talk about Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Okay. So here are the pros. And again, this pros applies to Google Docs or Microsoft Word. So grammar and spell checker is included in the word processing software. So there is no need to copy and paste into to paste it into a separate tool. So Google Docs provide translation through Google Translate. You can translate your text into 100 different languages for free. And you have customizable dictionaries are available also in both programs. So what about the cons? So neither program provides advanced grammar checks or style checkers. The grammar checker functionality is limited to the programs themselves, and it can slow your writing down to edit while creating. So you may want to turn off suggestions to avoid the start stop process of writing and editing at the same time okay and so how much does google docs or microsoft word cost well there is no extra expense so the grammar and spell checkers are already part of the software okay so the bottom line here is that if you write using this word processors the the free spelling and grammar checkers provide the first line of defense against basic errors 
So to correct more advanced errors and get feedback on your writing, you want to use a dedicated grammar checker. But again, it goes back to your budget. It goes back to the sophistication and granularity you want to have in your writing. It depends also, it, de it goes back to your audience also. So if you, who, whom you write for, okay? So your decision to choose uh, Grammarly, Ginger, Hemingway, Pro Writing Aid, Quillbot, Ling Ling Lingwix, Google Docs, or Microsoft Word depends on your audience. So when analyzing this uh, this uh, product, we paid attention to a few things, okay? And basically, we so when testing all these players, we looked at the following criteria to make sure that we had the right uh, we had the right uh, criteria for judgment. So we paid attention to ease of use, accuracy, flexibility, very important, right? We paid attention to uh, functionality, to uh, affordability, extra features, okay? So this is really important for us. So. Grammarly versus Pro Writing Aid versus uh, Quillbot versus uh, Ginger versus Hemingway versus Lingwix. Which one do you have to choose? It really depends on you, boss. It really depends on you. It depends, as I said before, on the level of sophistication you want in your writing. It depends on what you are asking in terms of uh, in terms of uh, length, in terms of uh, length and uh, width of uh, your writing. It depends on your audience. Okay. Now, are you a full-time writer? Are you a journalist? Are you a full-time writer? A full-time author? Are you a journalist? Are you a fiction writer? Or are you just uh, the occasional, the casual writer? Because if you're a casual writer, you don't need to uh, spend twenty dollars on a full-time, on a full, on a, an advanced program like uh, Grammarly or uh, Ginger or Pro Writing Eight. Okay. But if you are a writer, a journalist, or you are a business writer. A business plan writer or whatever then you might want to think about that yes it does help it is, think of it as a tool it is a working tool that allows you to improve your skills and allow, allow you to um, and it allows you to actually better your work your delivery this is really important so this is one thing i really want you to think about so it's not just about you know ease of use accuracy flexibility functionality affordability and extra features it's all about how does this work add how does this software tool add value to your overall overall uh, delivery and as i said before you don't want to edit and work and write at the same time there has to be some time for writing there has to be some time for editing believe me being there done that you never want to do a double you want you, you because the, the the creative processes involved in writing are totally different from the creative front uh, the creative uh, patterns that are involved in uh, editing so obviously you want to either do you want to write and have somebody else either a machine or a another person an editor look over your work so long story short it's important so make the and also one thing i want to say also is make sure that the tool that you choose actually is compatible is responsibly designed you can access it through uh, google docs you can access it through uh, word through your smartphone through your tablet through your desktop computer you got to have a diversity of ways to uh, to access that data So here was our pick. So after analyzing Grammarly, Pro Writing Aid, Quillbot, Ginger, Hemingway, and uh, Linguist, our pick is Grammarly. So we have actually rated Grammarly 9.2 over 10, Quillbox, Quillbot rather, 9 over 10, Ginger 8.7 over 10, Linguist 8.2 over 10, Pro Writing Aid 7.8 over 10, and Hemingway 7.1 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.